<laughs> hello. Hello. Hi. So, hi. Hi, guys. Today I have a guest. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Vanessa Nyagatari. Okay. I'm from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I'm Rwandese. <laughs> so, they are going to be asking Vanessa some questions. She has been our local guide here. People are going to. Huh? Are you in Yes. No, we are doing a vlog. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you order or we uh, need any? Yeah, we've already we ordered. ordered. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Sorry for this no, no, it's okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No, I'm not going to do it. That is nice. She, he, he was very respectful. Yeah. yeah. So what do you do? So, so introduce you yourself to, to the people. Hey, my name is Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa Nyagatari. I'm from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a tour company called Nyaga Tourism and Hospitality Solution. Mm -hmm. I'm a tour operator, sometimes a guide. Mm -hmm. So I mix them. Mix them. Yes. So, can you describe a typical work day for you? Sorry? At, uh, like, uh, what, how, what you are, when you go to work, what do you do in a day? Like, like today, what did you do today for, for your work? So, for today, I do for the reservation for mm -hmm. my clients, yeah. first of all. Yeah. And I go for the pay for the hotel. Yeah. And uh, after I meet you, <laughs> connect with networking, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> and uh, we sit it. Mm. We talk so, about Nairobi, we talk about Rwanda, we talk mm. about question coffee and the coffee, mm. just compare, <laughs> comparison for the coffee. So, yeah. So, what do you like most about your work? Traveling. Traveling? Yes. The traveling part? Yeah, traveling part and then uh, to see my client if they are happy. Uh -huh. Yes. So, where have you traveled? I travel with East, East Africa. All of East Africa. All of wow. East Africa. Nice. Uh -huh. And uh, West Africa, Benin, uh -huh. Cote d'Ivoire. Uh -huh. Yes, but I need to go to Senegal. Dakar. Dakar. So you know people are gonna ask, are you single or taken complicated? <laughs> <laughs> you know those question uh, that question uh, everyone asking me, so I'm single. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, what is your proudest moment in life? How do you like um, give me example like uh, how many languages do you speak? I speak yeah. French, I speak yeah. English, English, I speak yeah. Swahili, I speak yeah. in Rwanda. Okay. Four so, language. So, I mean, I spend a ton. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fry a ton of kwa na yo like, I'm a kwa dogo. It's like to have my only company. Uh -huh. That is the first thing. What's your only company? Yes. You so to even, yes, like company, so you yeah. didn't even tell their, you, them your company's name. Yeah, no. so I said you say it. They are my okay. company's in Nyaga Tourism and Hospitality Solution because I have oh. studied for it and yeah. graduating for that. So I, I had a dream. A dream. Oh, that's really <laughs> nice. Yes, that's why I love it. What do you, what would, if you will ever change anything about Rwanda, what will you change? Eh, that is, <laughs> <laughs> because of, uh, I'm not a uh, president, I'm not a lot, <laughs> no. so no, that's, I can't comment, nothing, yeah, no comment. No comment. What is your biggest fear? I don't know, go back. I think I don't fear nothing. That's nice. I fear God. Only God. Only God. Nice. Um, what did you do for a living before being a, a, a owner of a tour company? First of all, I, I work in the hotel. Uh -huh. After I was doing, I was manager for Java. Uh -huh. It's known in Nairobi, Uganda, even here. Mm -hmm. It's nice, you know. 
yeah. we should tell Java like I'm the, the ambassador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, was the, we was the first people, um, the Amango, the first people. Yeah. They, they have opened Java here and Java yeah. Kitten. So you are Java here, like based here. Yeah, so based before here. Kigali, where did you live? In Burundi, I have gone in Burundi. Burundi. Yeah. So because of what's happening here in Rwanda, yeah. so my parents are Rwandese. Yes. So we came after Jerusalem. Yes. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. How do, how was you how was your life growing up? Life is so good. Yeah. Especially in, uh, in Rwanda for thousand hills. Yes. And yeah, as clean. I told you I like it's clean, it's security safe. everywhere. Yeah. And everywhere is near. It's near. Yeah. Like I was, I was, uh, Vanessa was telling me like, oh, Rwanda is. A, uh, I was telling him like a place, and then he told me, oh, twenty minutes, that's far. And I was like, twenty minutes is far. Yeah. <laughs> and then she told me twenty minutes is far from for Kigali because Kigali is small. Yeah, yeah. It's because yeah. I, I was, my, I was compare about yeah. Nairobi. Nairobi is far. Yeah. So Kigali. I can't say it's a small city. Yes, it's a small city. When you compare for Nairobi, it's a small okay. city. So if someone is visiting Rwanda for the first time, what do you recommend them? The two things to do and two places to go. Two things uh, uh, to do like in adventure like or to learn the Rwanda and also like restaurants to go. So let me first go to the tourism yes. and the after hospitality is that's why my company yeah. called the Nyaga Tourism and <laughs> Hospitality people they like to mix yeah. uh, tourism and the hospitality they think it's the yeah. same yeah. but they are not the same mm -hmm. so let me start uh, for the tourism mm -hmm. uh, I take this <laughs> from Mm -hmm. We are saying hospitality and tourism are different. Yes, you yes. Are, I was asking me where can I take this day to uh, someone yeah. come the first time. But to do two things. Um, first thing I was telling you, uh, my company is Nyaga Tourism and Hospitality. So you take them. So let me start for tourism. Because people, there is, um, they mix. They mm -hmm. thought tourism and hospitality are the same, but they, there is a combination, but it is not, it's not the same. Let me start for the tourism. Uh, tourism I can take to the parks, mm -hmm. to Akagera, and then see the gorillas also. Mm -hmm. There is a two park. Mm -hmm. We come to the park to see the gorillas. Mm -hmm. Akagera. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, wildlife. Yeah. So, for the, that is the things to do and they like you go city tours everything so for hospitality the hotel or restaurant you like your restaurant you like your I restaurant. like people have to eat <laughs> yes <laughs> but I can if give it's it like a local like a local, local, local food, yes local food mm -hmm. I'm not branding uh, the restaurants, but I like the, the restaurant African Bite for the local food, yes. which is located in Kimbera. It's a nice place. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But for them to be comfortable, you take care of them with your travel company, right? Yes. Like she did with us. She, she has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing is it's a good service, right? Yes, yeah. true. So that's all. Do you have anything to add? Anything you want to tell people? Uh, and so just book with the Nyaga Tours. www.nyagatour.org okay. Follow me to the Instagram Nyaga Tours. Okay. Yeah, they are. So I think that's all. And we have so many questions. Guys, if you have any other question, comment down below. I know she will be watching and she'll comment. Uh -huh. I need more. to ask you a question. So how is the tourism in Nairobi? What is the difference as uh, we take you around? Yeah. What, what is the difference between the difference Rwanda and Nairobi? Uh, the Nairobi in tourism. Okay. What you, you saw it, which is not in Nairobi, which is what? And uh, Kenya. Okay, okay. So let's say like there's a language barrier, but you're always told if you are visiting a country, you should learn the, their language, not them to learn 
your languages are visitors, but the language barrier is a bit uh, because people many speak French and Kinyarwanda, and, and in Nairobi people speak English. They are them with English. Yeah, so that is an, a, a difference I've seen with like Rwanda and. Um, like if you if if you are talking about local people, not like you, you know you are versatile. But now if I take like local, uh, if I'm going to a local shop, I'm going to a local restaurant, yeah, the language barrier is, is difficult. And then like here, uh, what can I say? You know, Rwanda is small, so there's small. Uh, the, there is no the roads. Oh, oh no, the roads. Actually, Rwanda is very clean, yes. very clean and very safe. I remember like telling Judy they are going out and then they said, okay, come to this place. And I was so scared, like because in Nairobi I can never like leave my house at one that like one a.m. in the morning. So I was like, I'm really scared today. I can't go out because I will feel like it was so quiet. Yes, the vibe here is very quiet, quiet in a good way. But when you're used to Nairobi, where there's so much noise. You feel like noise, uh, you know, noise correlates with safety because we're in a roadway that it's quiet, there's danger. But here it's it's safe. So when I went out, there was police. Like they, they, it was like really clean. There's police like everywhere. And not like everywhere like harassing you. No, they're just like uh, doing their job. And then it's very safe. 24 hours, not even 1 a.m. or what. 24 hours and and it's safe and the Wi-Fi is very strong also. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is very very strong. Yeah. Uh, did you like your hotel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I like it because I feel like the hotel here has more. Of Okay, let me let me not say hotel because I said that Airbnb. Airbnb there is more affordable. I won't say like a cheaper, but it's more affordable than in Nairobi. And then they are more clean. Like everything is clean here. Not even like not only like touristic places. Even where the local people live, it's very very clean. Yeah, very clean and very safe. Yeah, so that's the big difference with Nairobi. Yeah, that's good. That's a, yeah, that is a positive <laughs> feedback. feedback. Yes. yes. So I think that's all. That's all, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And